Hello again, this is Kyle. Today we're going to be talking about semicolons. So if you've been watching my videos, you may have noticed something missing. Where are my semicolons? Now, you may or may not know that in JavaScript, semicolons are optional. Uh, basically, if you uh, omit them, uh, such as we do where it works, it works. We can put a semicolon here, but if we omit them, JavaScript will automatically insert one for us. This is called ASI or automatic semicolon insertion. Um, so you, they're, they're perfectly optional uh, to put one here. Um, so if we do console log works, if I spell it right, and don't have any semicolons, it works. Maybe I just want one semicolon, that still works. Or if I want to put semicolons at the end of each line, that still works. Um, I can go crazy and I can put semicolons in the beginning of my lines. That still works. Uh, another one is maybe I want three semicolons at the end of my line, just you know for that extra safety to ensure that nothing uh, that my code doesn't break. Um, that still works too. Now some of you are probably thinking, no semicolons, that's bad code. You're a bad person. And you're sort of correct. Um, let's take out these semicolons here. There are a few instances in which if you omit semicolons, you can run into some trouble, uh, such as if you just declare a array here. So we'll just say one, two, three, and we'll say four each. And we just want to print out each of these numbers here. Uh, I'm going to save this. Uh oh, I cannot read property three of undefined. What is that? If only if I've put a semicolon here, it would have worked. Uh, another example is if I have a function that calls itself or a immediately invoked function, uh, console log gr, and save this. Console log is not a function. Of course it's a function. It's a, f oh, I forgot my semicolon. If I put my semicolon back, it works. Uh, so, and then there's another really weird instance too. If you uh, um, say if you have a return statement here, and then you put the return on a new line, I don't know, bear equals one, uh, this will be evaluated like such, and not what you expect at all, because it'll be returning null and not the bear you want. But I mean, really, who does that? I don't know. Um, don't do that. I I don't know. But anyways. Uh, these three instances are the main problem of people who don't use semicolons and why people say it's bad. Now, I've been writing JavaScript for many, many years, and personally, I've never once ran into uh, an issue where I said, oh man, if only if I used a semicolon. Now, what I tend to do is with arrays, I will actually give them a variable name because there's very few times I'm just going to init an array and want to loop through them right after it's init, I'm usually wanting to be assigned to a variable. Uh, and with immediately invoked in function expressions, you know, go ahead, add a, add a semicolon there. It's not like if you don't use semicolons, you're forbidden to use them everywhere. Um, or another way is just, you know, give that function a proper name and uh, and then call it. Uh, so you don't need, it's not, you know, it's not fancy JavaScript, but it's it works, you know. So the reason why I don't use semicolons when I'm teaching JavaScript is because I find it helps avoid some of the confusion and some of the guessing uh, with people, especially new to the language. Uh, so like for instance, let's take an example. If I write a function bear here, at the end here, do I put a semicolon? Uh, and the answer is no, because this is just a, a function. We don't need a semicolon here. It's, it's not, uh, you shouldn't put a semicolon there. But if instead I wrote the bear function as an expression like this, then you should put it uh, a semicolon there at the end of the line. That is the proper way. Uh, now it, let's, let's move on to other statements such as if uh, is bear, do I put a semicolon here? Nope, no semicolon there. Uh, same thing with other loops. Uh, still a bear. 
we wouldn't want to put a semicolon here either. Uh, so that can be kind of confusing um, as a, a new person of which lines, uh, which curly braces do we end with semicolons? Uh, so another example is, so say we, he we hear, we have, blah, 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 I can't speak. We have a function bear here that returns an object. And this object is just the type of bear, grizzly. And so, you know, where do we put the semicolons here? Do we put one here? Nope, doesn't go there. Uh, should we put one here? Yes, you should put a semicolon there. Um, and then, uh, you know, even with ES6, say we have a class bear um, that has a growl uh, function on it that returns a growl. Uh, should we put a semicolon here? Yep, semicolon goes there. What about here? Uh, nope, no semicolon there and no semicolon here. So it just gets confusing to new people um, especially um, of where a semicolon should go and where a semicolon shouldn't go. And so my theory on this is the amount of decisions you need to make while coding, uh, while writing semicolons, will be greater than without semicolons. So uh, for instance, just the, the more decisions you make while coding, the, the quicker you'll fatigue while coding. Um, but I don't know, maybe that's really dumb and I'm just a bad person. Uh, I just want you to know that I purposely don't use semicolons because I truly do care about you learning JavaScript in the, the least confusing way that I know. So now I have a challenge for you. If you've been writing JavaScript and you've never ever used semicolons, um, I encourage you to spend a month and write JavaScript with semicolons just to get a feel of how it is and how the other side lives. And if you have always written your JavaScript using semicolons, I want you to write your JavaScript for an entire month using two semicolons. That will give you a, a feeling of what people who don't like semicolons, how they feel about semicolons by, uh, by writing the extra one there. But anyways, thanks for listening to my rant. Uh, please write a comment below on your thoughts about semicolons. And even if you think I'm a horrible person for writing this bad code without semicolons, please let me know. Uh, thanks again for watching.